Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at here real quick is my new virtualization hardware. If you can't tell, the set has changed. I have a full-size rack back here, and I'll do a tour of it. But in the top is an edge router, Infinity, and then we've got our XGPON set up so that we can do our ISP build video from the technical side. But I need a server to... Uh, run UISP and a few other things. So what am I going to use? I'm going to use this new uh, Protectly Vault. Thanks to Protectly for sending this over. This is the VP6650. And this has an Intel i5 12th gen CPU. It's got 64 gigs of RAM. It's got four 2.5 gig Ethernet interfaces and two 10 gig SFP plus interfaces. So let's take this bad boy out of the box and take a look at it. So this thing is, of course, it's one giant heat sink because it's Protectly, right? So um, here on the front, we've got every connection known to connections, right? So we've got a display port, an HDMI. We've got an uh, SD card, a, a couple of different serial ports. We've got... USB-C, we've got five other uh, USB ports there. And then we've got over here the power button. And then on the back, it does have a threaded, the power adapter is threaded, so it won't come out. If I would have put Wi-Fi in this, we've got our antennas there. But uh, over here, you've got your 10 gig ports. SFP plus cages, and then you've got your 2.5 gig ports there. So uh, this also has an NVMe, a 250 gig NVMe, because we are going to install Proxmox on this. And then our VMs are going to be connected to this and be running off of a Synology. So this is the first piece of gear, and I've got a shelf, because this will actually sit on a shelf back here in the server rack. Then the other piece of hardware that I have, and I may end up swapping these around doing different things, but it's happening very, very soon, is I have this, I actually uh, traded some gear for this. So this is an R86S, and it is one of these small form factor uh, machines. And you can see it's got two 10 gig ports and then it's got wired, I believe these are 2.5 gig ports on this. It's got an Intel processor, 32 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. It's got the Wi-Fi built in. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about, about this. This is another one of those boxes that's all... It's all heat sink, and so you can see I've got to have a mini connector there. They don't call that an SD card. They call it a TF card, so they don't have to pay the licensing. So let me know in the comments, do you think this should become our router for the lab rack, or do you think this should be a virtual box, or this should just be my UISP box, or what do you think I should do with this? I'm kind of open for suggestion, but uh, whatever it is, I'm doing it. I'm doing it quickly because we got to keep moving on these on these videos. But this Protectly, uh, I am <laughs> I am super excited about this. I'll leave uh, any links that I can down in the description. So um, the next video that we do on this will be installing whatever operating system it is. I, I think I'm still going to do Proxmox, but I do want to know down in the comments, what would you, how would you do this? And maybe that will, maybe that will change my mind. Also, if you're excited to see a uh, tour of the lab rack and see everything that's going to be coming in, there's going to be a lot of switches and a lot of gear that get populated into that. And I'm also still getting used to the new orientation of, of the lab and the, uh, the office and the studio. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited about this, and if you are too, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link, a link to our community. Go sign up over on the community, 
And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.